What is the difference between labor only and bona fide subcontractors? To make it simple, here's three points that highlights the main differences between the two types. Flexibility on the job. If you are able to reassign roles to individual contractors, they are more likely to be a labor-only subcontractor. How they are paid. Contractors who are paid by the hour, day, or weekly are more likely to be considered labor-only. Bona fide subcontractors tend to quote for a job and invoice it, either upon completion or in stages. If your contractor is obliged to correct any problems with their work without billing you for the extra time, and if this extra cost or any other situation where they have underquoted would cause adverse risk to their earning, they are most likely to be a bona fide contractor. From an insurer's perspective, labor-only subcontractors are regarded as employees for the purposes of employers' liability insurance, so payments made to them need to be included in the wage roll figures declared to your insurers each year. Bona fide subcontractors should have their own insurance, so their payments aren't normally allowed for, in the same way in calculating premiums. When it comes to public and products liability, bona fide subcontractor payments may still be taken into account in the premium calculation. However, the assumption is that they will have their own contractor's insurance policy in place so that any claims for their work can normally be passed back onto their insurers. This not only lowers the risk for the main contractor's insurers, but also lowers the rate charged by your insurers.